Going live. Bam. What's up, guys? Okay, I'm going to turn the mic way up this time. I know it was really quiet last time. Trying to get incrementally better, a little bit at a time. All right, we're here. 1023, what's up? Blake Jameson. We're going to start off a little bit of stretch. We're just going to do a oh, chest opening exercise. I, I want to start to make it a thing. I hunch too much. Okay. What is up? All right, let's see. We can we can move this here a little bit more to give you some Big Mac. And I might be able to like kind of clean up my camera a little bit. Let's see. What's up, guys? What's up, Eric? Thank you. Juliana G with the bomb. Miss Type Hey. What is up, guys? All right. Uh. Easton just got the Kyle Lewis. Thank, don't thank me. Thank Tony. Tony is shipping out all the art cards. I just do the art. and He does all the fulfillment, which is amazing. Shout out, Tony. And shout out, Matt. Oh, Matt, right there. Uh, there he is. Helping out. What is this, day three? Yeah, day three. Day three. And we're crushing it. We had a very productive day. We've done a lot of different things. We've autographed a lot of cards, UV codes, flipped cleaned stickered sorted uh we went through a bunch of mail um we've got boxes of uh nolan ryan's and some jackies that i got to sign in black i might do that tonight ship back to people with the self-addressed stamped envelope uh so yeah welcome everyone uh I don't necessarily have a plan. I thought, I was hoping actually to get uh, Andrew Thiel to come on tonight. He has the D Jeter that's paired with my Mark McGuire that's out right now. It is gorgeous. It is, it's one of my top three cards in the whole set. It's amazing. And my McGuire is also one of my top three. So that says a lot. Beautiful card. Uh, I was hoping to have him on the stream tonight. It was super last minute. We started talking on Instagram and uh, he also has a newborn baby. Congratulations, shout out for that. So, sadly, I guess it didn't work out. I told him to text me if he could come. And he's not here, which is fine. Uh, what's up, Dad? What's up, Christopher? Mike, hello. Miss Type, ready for Gary V tomorrow? It's not tomorrow. It's not tomorrow, but it might be on a Friday. Uh, let's see here. Can I have Matt's autograph? Eric wants Matt's autograph. Uh, yeah, we could probably have him autograph in like the UV ink. We could do something special on something for you. Um, man, it was a it was a cool day. I had a mail day. All the mail days every day are cool. This mail day was especially cool. I should have saved the package, but I didn't. So I got mailed something by National Sports Collectors Convention, aka the National. I was already planning to go this year. Uh, Tony, as soon as we started working together, he's like, you gotta go. He explained to me what it was, and I was like, yes, we're there. That was like literally the same day that Nolan Ryan dropped. Since then, Eric has been like, yo, you gotta go to National. Uh, and I've been like, I was researching it. I was looking up at like getting a booth. Sadly, it was supposed to be, I think in August, it's been pushed back and potentially could be in December, which is great. And if it's in Atlantic City, which is where it was supposed to be, that's very close to me. Anyways, they, the National, I'd never talked to them. They sent me a care package. They never asked for my uh, mailing address. They just literally found it, which is easy because everyone's posting my business card and I publicize it. But they sent all this stuff, okay? So they sent these little packs, these special, and this is this is a whole pack. I don't, I mean, I'm gonna have to open it and paint on it, but um, I don't think we're gonna do that tonight. We're gonna make a whole thing about it. Look at that. Awesome. Bam. Awesome. Bam. Awesome. Bam. These are all packs. And <clears throat> these are tickets to the national. There's there's so many there's so many. It's crazy. I don't I mean we're going to have to do a big old giveaway and I'll get together at the national because the team is growing. There's like five of us now 
but that's going to leave us like 20 tickets to give away. So that was a cool mail day. What else? Uh, well, we signed... Uh, what do we do? All the Don Reds? Yeah. Right? All the Don Reds got signed. Front, number, back, UV code on the back. And, Putting the, and the whites. And the whites. Only thing we're waiting on is Yankee Blue. The Yankee Blue marker is coming in the mail tomorrow. Then we're going to do the Yankee Blue for Don's. For Jackie's, we've done, uh, we did all the 42 Dodger Blue. And that was the thing. I didn't want Dodger Blue, or Dem Bums Blue, sorry, to be the same as Yankee Blue. That's why I didn't paint the blue uh, Don's today. They're going to be different colors. One's darker for Yankees. Um, uh, let's see. Eric, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, smash the like button. Aaron, what is up? Aaron Hogan. Didn't Aaron... I think Aaron Hogan had a sick package today. It does. I just don't remember which one it was. We got so many packages. Aaron, what did you send me? Because I, I remember I opened it up and it was awesome. And I was like, Aaron Hogan, uh, the pair of your matting leaves is on eBay for 300 Uh, Not a bad deal. Not bad. Dumb Bums Blue is Mets Blue. Uh, yeah, does, yeah. Uh, what is up, guys? Grizzly Bees, Team Jameson, thank you. Oh, man. Yeah, two different blues, yeah. But it's important, you know. Uh, pinstripe blue, exactly. Jackie Red's done, yes. Jackie Red's are done. So, um, Matt is currently putting the Jackies into team bags. Do you want to bring, will you bring a card and a bag over here and just show them? Yeah, absolutely. We'll show you guys what we're doing. Because also part of the work was replacing, like how many cases did we replace today, do you think? Uh, at least 50 or 60. 50 or 60 cases. Yeah. Okay. So we're taking the Jackies. Here's a Jackie Blue. Number 40 of 42. And we're putting them in these team bags. It's an extra step, but totally worth it to protect your goodness. Bam. So that's how they ship, but then they go into custom boxes, which is another thing that we're going to do tonight. We're going to paint some of those. Um, here you go. We don't want to keep that one away from the other one. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so we've been... Uh, we've been We've been crushing it. Honestly, one of the only things I didn't do today w was get on Twitter and reply to everyone about Mark McGuire. Maybe I should have, but I have a lot to do, and I want to make sure that like everyone that's already paid for autograph cards in the past and been very patient, getting them the product is priority. I think that uh, I did a lot of promotion on Mark yesterday. To it's all so funny. So Tony knows the print run. He was asking me to ask Tops, and I told him that I didn't want to know because it wasn't going to change anything. And uh, he demanded to know, so I told him to go ask Jeff at Tops, and he did, and he knows now. And so he's like teasing me, and he's like, is it good, is it bad? It's between somewhere between 1,000 and 500,000, and like Samuel is crap. And I'm like, dude, it doesn't matter because if it's a short print run, I bought a bunch of them this morning, that's a win. If it's a mediocre great print run i bought a bunch of them this morning that's good if it's a huge print run i bought a bunch of them this morning and it's all good it literally like it just doesn't matter to me at this point i feel like i put i put so much into the piece and i'm so happy with how it came out that like i don't need i don't need print run validation i think that the print run will be whatever the card is supposed to have you know so yeah that's where i'm at um Alex, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Alex, I still have your work right here. Alex was inspired to start painting after 18 years um, through Project 2020, which is really cool. And so we did a little swap. So he sent me some art. I'm sending him some back. Uh, and I think it's great. Um, super cool that he's painting again. Alex, do your thing. And actually, I, by the way, Alex, I'm not going to put you on blast. I won't say everything about the message, but I saw your message. 
Uh, I haven't responded yet because I want to put a lot of thought into it, and I'm gonna like give you like some real uh, real talk ideas. So I will do that. I just haven't done it yet um, because it was like right before the stream that I saw that message. Um, yeah, uh, Kev. Yes, I think that Jeff would do an interview. Uh, I think getting him on a live stream would be awesome. It would be. I mean, we have 15 cards to go, like Mike said. So. There's no rush to me. Like, I think like it's crazy. I love that everything that we've built so far together, like all of us have built, is great. And I still haven't done, you know, Trout, which by the way is next, which is crazy. This Maguire I think is gonna go crazy. The print runs from yesterday got released. Both of them over 10K. Like that's awesome. Like, the project is gaining momentum. Me having Jeff on, you know, now versus me having Jeff on in uh, a month or two months. The only difference is like he's going to be like more excited about everything that we've we've been able to accomplish, all of us. So I will have him on. I'm just, uh, you know, we don't have to rush it. Uh, living one handed. What's up, Maddie? Hello, Grant. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's my favorite so far, for sure. Um. All right. So. Sorry, I'm a little tired. Today's one day I didn't nap. I actually usually take a nap, middle of the day, uh, five, six o'clock. I try and get like a, a one or two hour nap in, recharge, and then like get my blood flowing again and get going again before this live stream. Today, with everything we had going on, uh, I did not nap, unfortunately. So I'm a little bit tired. Uh, but that's okay. We're, uh, we're gonna power through, we're gonna paint some stuff, we're going to buy some Meguiars if we haven't. Just a reminder, the bounty is super sick. Um, 24 by 36 painting of your choice, whatever you want. Two round trip tickets anywhere in the world to New York City. Two hotel, night, two, two hotel nights in New York City for you and your plus one. One full day here in the studio with me. We paint all day long, or whatever. I mean, we can hang out. We'll go, we'll get some nice lunch. Uh, I have a great sushi spot I got sushi today at, if you like sushi. Um, we'll do it all. We'll go, we'll like go to UPS, we'll open a bunch of mail, we'll have a mail day video together. We'll paint some stuff. You get to keep all that painting stuff. All of that for my one of one gold if you find it. Uh, all you gotta do is send that to me and that's, that's like the package. Uh, and then I'll also give you a, a Mark McGuire, you can have it signed or not signed, whatever, uh, to replace your one of one gold. Because I really want that card. Yeah, I really want the gold card. Super special to me. Uh, thank you, Eric. Yeah, so the link down um, down below has where you can buy the card. Uh, also, James mentioned the ESPN article. Thank you. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's how crazy the day was. It's like an article comes out my first time ever on ESPN, and like halfway through the day, I'm just I like, or at the end of the day, but I didn't even remember that, that happened today. Very, very, <laughs> very exciting. Crazy. It's like a, feels like the Truman Show sometimes on these streams, uh, especially when I come into it with no plan. It's just like, just, it's wild. Uh, all right, let's see here. Yeah, a little bit of rest during the day. Yeah, Kristen, thank you so much. I hope that you get it too. Anybody that's in the inner circle like you guys, like I hope if somebody gets it in the circle, and I'm telling you, I, I bought a lot of my cards. Um, bought a few hundred. So I have a chance. I have a really good chance. I hope, I think I'm gonna have the best. I can't imagine people buying more cards than me, but who knows, I guess. Um, bro, I, I could get emotional for you, you're blowing up. Thanks, man. I get emotional for you guys all the time, <laughs> especially last night. Uh, thank you guys, everyone that tuned in. I actually had a blast. I know it's like, uh, it was a tough, tough stream, tough stories to read, but it was really, really cool. Uh, and I enjoyed it very much. Um, all right, so what do you guys think? We could, we could do a couple things and I'll let you guys pick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some paint around for sure. Thank you guys, Reese, I appreciate it. Eric, thank you for sharing the ESPN link. Super tight. 
Um, Simon McGuire and Gold Inc. put the artist trade 101 back. Uh, you should sign the McGuire trade and Gold Inc. put the artist trade. Yeah, so, well, yeah, not a bad idea, Daryl. Faux show. I guess I like I don't want to confuse my one of one gold, which I do with my autographs. I do sign it in gold on the front, label it one of one on the back. I'm trying to like avoid confusing people with that and being the gold frame, so that people don't think that they can like buy the one of one auto and then like give it back to me for some reason for like some worldwide priceless trip, which <laughs> which is not the situation. So, anyways. Um, Thank you, Four Leaf Cards. I appreciate that. Uh, mistype, do I know how the ESPN article is doing? In terms of clicks, no. No idea. I don't even know how my Maguire is doing in terms of clicks, and I'm, like, directly in that. Um, so, no. I, but that's okay. You know, we're we're on a roller coaster. And, and so far, it's uh, it's been great. So, it is what it is. Uh, you know. Okay, so back to the thing. I want to paint tonight. I'm going to take this hat off because I don't want to get paint on it. But when I paint, I will take it off and I'll put on a painty hat. I will make relics out of that. Um, I could paint on the top 2020 boxes and do like, uh, you know, the Jackie Dembums 42 series. I could do 42 boxes. Uh, we could do... Uh, Tony and Matt and I have spent... And I say... I'm not really included. Tony and Matt have spent a lot of time going through literally hundreds of cards that people have sent in and picking out like some fun selects to do like some special card art on. And by the way, the people that sent me these cards are also getting like a lot of these back. Um, not all of them, but some of them. Um, but we have like some really cool cards that we could be painting on. I don't know, oh, Stranger Things cards, like, it's awesome. We've got, a lot, we've got a lot of cool stuff. So we could do some, like, fun card art on some special cards. Um, we could paint on boxes. Uh, the other thing that we're going to do tonight when we paint is uh, we are retiring the living canvas that you guys have seen, and we're going to have to look... I would like to actually date it. Like it was kind of like it was like April May 2020, but I would like to know like when the first day we painted on the living canvas was. April the project kicked off on like 15th, so it's probably like end of April, I don't know, April 20 some late 20s or whatever. I'm going to sign that canvas date April so and so through May 21st, 2020. That canvas is retired. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be working with Tops and making some relic cards out of that canvas to be awesome. Tonight, we're debuting a brand new canvas, rolling it straight off the roll. We're going to start there. So whether we paint boxes or we paint some card art or we could do both, uh, that's, where, um, that's where we're going to get our first splatters on the Living Canvas 2.0. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the Living Canvas. Alex, thank you so much. I hope you get the one on one, man. That'd be so fun to have you here in New York and in the studio and painting together would be would be epic. Um, uh, O'Connor asked, "Can I send you a Mark McGuire once I get it to splatter paint on?" Um, so we are, and I say we because I can't do this alone. I have I'm building a super tight team. Very grateful for all the help. We are looking at making some type of form online that you can fill out where you can send in a card. You basically, you fill out the form, you print it out, and you include that with the card that you want to send in and it has kind of instructions and, um, you know, your return address and like everything else will be, will be sorted out. So the, the short answer is yes. The long answer is yes, but wait until we sort that out online and we'll figure out a system so that you can like send in because right now like people do send me a lot of cards um and and even like recently i've started telling people like hold your cards for right now like let me let me figure out a thing because people are sending me like big boxes of cards and then they say like let me just get 10 back 
totally happy to do that. That's a freaking great trade if I can get a hundred or a thousand or however many cards to paint on and I have to just send you 10 back. Happy to do it. That's a great deal. Um, but the logistics of like actually executing it and having 20 different boxes, all people with like little postcards with different expectations and return addresses and some are self-addressed stamped back and some are not, it's a lot. So we're trying to like halt, <laughs> pause and figure out a system so that if you're going to send in cards, you're going to go to a certain website page, you're going to fill out a little form, depending on what the whole situation is, um, you're going to print that out and send it in with the cards and that way if you're expecting some back or you know if you're sending in like a trout card and you're gonna pay to get like get it splatter painted on like that obviously needs to be treated appropriately so that's the plan going forward uh, let's see here thank you Aaron I appreciate that um, yeah Alex it would be super cool be really cool. Uh, painter's hat patch relic. Yeah, exactly, Chris. I've got um, actually, yeah, if I, I'll show you guys. I'll show you the hat that I'll wear tonight. So we're gonna we're gonna wear this. We're gonna paint tonight. Dodgers. It's already got some paint on it, but we're gonna get some more. And then we'll end up like chopping up little pieces and we'll, we'll make relics out of that. Because no other artist is doing that and I want to do stuff that no other artist does. So for no other reason, I'm in. Kind of like Shark Tank when they're like, blah, blah, blah. And for that reason, I'm out. It's the opposite. Lauren, what's up? Lolo. Beanie and Breezy. Uh, so my girlfriend, Laura Mayhew, uh, in the chat right now, is just flew to Detroit, Michigan to visit uh, her sister, Bree. Sup, Bree? And uh, they are going to be living it up this weekend. They're going out on the lake on a boat. It's supposed to be gorgeous. Uh, so that's super exciting. And uh, it also means that, like, I'm here in the studio Matt helping, uh, and we're crushing it. Um, and so it's, it's really cool that Lauren's out having a blast, and hello, Bean. Uh, last time Lauren was uh, with some friends, and she was commenting, like, trying to get me to, like, say hello to the family she was staying with, the Chinchilla family, the Chins, and I didn't see the comments. I missed it, and I told her to, like, text me. I'm like, tell me if you're going to be on, because I don't want to miss it. So here we are. What is up? Uh, Daniel, am I signing McGuire cards? Uh, when you get them and selling them, bought the Jackie 99. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, I, I will be doing a artist autograph series of Mark McGuire. That's going to launch after tops, after it's done on tops, which is 1 PM tomorrow. Then, uh, I will make a kind of a pre-sale page and that'll be password protected. You can DM either me or Tony if you want that password. I'm gonna give uh, kind of the inner circle a couple days to get which which whichever cards and autographs they want, and then probably early next week I'll make it public. So, yeah, send me a DM, send Tony a DM uh, on Twitter probably is the best. Uh, oh, Tony, talking about you tasting the gum. I can't believe you ate the gum, babe. Also, Bree says sup sup sup. I actually wrote, hey, do you know, you probably already put it away, but do you know the card with the UV ink sup on it? Which UV ink? I said sup on one? Hold yes, on a second. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, 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 no, no, it's not that one. It's going to be a black one. Yeah, I think, it's all, I think they'll be able to see it. Okay. All right, so on my autograph cards, I have my thumb over this number so you guys can't see what number card it is. But I have different codes, and this one. Oh, God, can, can they see it? Hold on. No, turn off the lights. Okay. Real quick, will you do yeah. that? Hold on, we can actually turn off this. Okay, let's see if you guys can see it now. You guys see? Okay, there we go. 
Sup. So this is the only card actually that says sup on it. Yeah, we're good. Uh, it's a one of one sup. It's a one of one sup. Just tight. So I have this black light and every card that I paint my autograph on and sell, I put a special code. I have like a tracking sheet. Anyways, that one's for you, Breezy. All right, one second. All right, so thank you, Dad. Text me. He's always on. Com he's on comment patrol. Uh, Robert said, uh, "Give my daughter Peyton." What is up, Peyton? Congratulations on almost graduating high school. Super exciting. And thank you so much for spending your Thursday night with me. It's pretty awesome. Uh, if Robert wants to uh, throw in the comments, I would love to know where you guys are from and uh, what's the deal and what's the plan, Peyton? You don't need a plan, but if you have a plan, feel free to share it. If you don't have one, it's also okay. I didn't figure out my plan until pretty late. Um, yay, Bree says thanks. What's going on? Uh, Lauren, dope, brilliant, bam, smiles, tons of emojis, cool. Yeah, Peyton, man, graduating high school, that's exciting. It's got it's a crazy time in the world right now to be uh, graduating high school, but it's it's great when there's like challenges like this. It's like such a cool, cool opportunity for people that are just willing to do stuff that other people are not willing to do. So that's exciting, and I'm excited for you. And Lauren says, stay in school. Well, if she's graduating high school, babe, she doesn't have to stay in school. But if she wants to go to college, she can. And I think, well, actually, I don't know if Peyton is a boy or a girl. Daughter. P girl. Peyton. Cool. She might want to go to college. She might not. Either way, it's fine. Uh, yeah. That's dope. Uh, let's see here. So, I didn't see, like, I haven't really, I've been missing a lot of comments. Lauren talking about gum eat, eating the wax pack gum. So you guys have to tell me what we should paint first. We'll probably paint both. Uh, oh, Dana asked what's up with the eye painting in the background. So this painting is uh, a painting of mine. I've, I always like love experimenting and pushing, pushing myself to do different styles. And so that was like very heavily inspired by Picasso. Um, and I just was feeling it, feeling it one day. I did a couple paintings, uh, that was one of them. And I did another version that was kind of red, which actually sold very quickly. And then this one, I just hung up in my studio and I love also these, uh, cabinets are all painted by different artists who have like spent time in my studio and we've collaborated, which is super fun. So this is, uh, Natalia, AKA lick me. She's a Colombian artist. She's amazing. Um, uh, let's see here. What do we have? Uh, this is Forrest, who uh, was a studio mate around, kind of around the corner in this building uh, for a long time. Uh, Marcello Castellano, another Colombian artist. He and Lick Me knew each other from Colombia, came to New York separate. Um, his work is amazing. This guy, Tarciso, is an artist from Brazil super cool artist he did a residency here in new york and stayed with me in my studio for several months uh, this is uh, james fisher smith who uh, used to share another a studio here in the building uh, also now he's got a studio down the block very cool uh very cool artist and then this is uh courtney she was my very when moving to new york and she helped out a lot she was an assistant teacher at the time forget what grade pretty young kids and uh, the teacher ended up going on maternity leave, the main teacher. So, she, so even though she was still just considered a sub and they had to hire another regular teacher, she like had a giant role. Had to, that's when she stopped working for me, sadly. It's been like a year, actually, which is crazy that it's been that long. But her work's dope. You know, left there. Putting on all our craft to do for the day. This table here has all my autographs, autograph cards on it, which Matt over there is putting stickers on right now, hologram stickers. That is your life. Uh, let's see, uh, Felix the Cat in the other corner, that's also my work. Um, I've actually, I've got a whole Felix series that I love. 
really cool. I was under an alias named Riley Black. Uh, I've kind of haven't figured out exactly what I want to do with that brand, but I have a whole Felix series that I love. Uh, Patrick, uh, cool Nicholas. Let's see here, Felix the Cat. Thanks so much. Okay, cool. Okay, Robert says thanks so much. You're awesome. She's going to attend a local community college and figure it out, like we all are. That's great. That's an awesome plan. Uh, Robert, where in the world are you guys located? Uh, Jerry says paint a national pack. Man, we are we are going to paint on these these national packs. They have to get painted on. But I don't think we're ready. I want to I let these marinate. I'm going to get a good idea. And same with these. Like, we're going to paint on some tickets. We're going to do, like, a golden ticket thing, actually. Maybe we're going to start putting these in with some autos. be a cool thing. Do you think that the National would let you in if I, like, splatter paint gold on this and, like, make it crazy looking? Do you think they'd still let you in? Is there... No, there's not a barcode. Maybe. We'll see. Um, what's up, Lauren and Bree? Thank you guys. I love you. Sup, hot plate. Man, you guys are really liking the. You guys are wanting me to paint on these uh, national cards. Uh, Brent asked, do you ever see yourself moving away from sports portraits or, or you stick with it for the long haul? Uh, man, I don't, I don't pigeonhole myself in anything. I'm going to ride sports portraits as long as I can. And if something else pulls me in a different direction, that's okay. Um, that's how I got into sports portraits to begin with. I was doing uh, art for offices, tech companies who were moving from a uh, co-working space into their own private office and wanted some cool inspirational art on the walls to like improve company culture and whatever. Uh, that was my thing for a long time. And then I met this guy who played in the NFL, now reps NFL players, and like he like took me under his wing and got me into the sports thing. And then I I was I parlayed those first couple clients into a bunch of football clients into a bunch of other sports. And now you know here we are, painting for tops. So. Uh, I definitely wouldn't just commit to saying I'm going to do uh, sports forever. I'm just going to do sports as long as as long as I feel like it, I guess. Uh, hungry for nachos. All right, Mike, I got something for you. This one's nice. I love this nacho. This is one of the best nachos, in my opinion, so far. Stranger Things nacho. All right, is it all Stranger Things? Yeah. Very cool. So for those that don't know, the nacho is when we make art cards and then a bunch stick together, but it only counts as one card because it's like one nacho. That's what that's from. Uh, Mantle should have been in Project 2020. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough only picking 20 players. There's definitely more than 20 players that deserve to be in Project 2020. So, you know is what it is and they're leaving room for uh, whether it's project 2021 20, 21, 21 or maybe they do it every five years 25 25 who knows I think it's a great concept um, yeah what's up Nick how's it going yeah not a baseball nacho it's okay I actually would love nachos right now I have some sushi I have some leftover sushi today that I gotta eat ASAP Tops doesn't have the rights uh, to Mantle. Oh, makes sense. 1977 asked prediction for afternoon. Man, you should ask Tony. Tony knows, actually. He asked Jeff. And that was like five hours ago, and he's been teasing me ever since, trying to get me to ask him what the number is, and I won't because I don't care. Um, I feel like no matter what the number is, I'm like wildly... Um, at peace with this Maguire piece. Um, you know, it felt it was like a long time coming and I was looking forward to it for so long and I feel like I did as well as I could have done. And uh, for the most part, people liked it. And that's good. 
That's good. I'm trying to read some of these comments again. Blake, will you take a request on Tatis Jr. for your splash on it? I love your work. So we talked about that earlier. Um, we are the team is figuring out a way so that if you want a specific player or specific colors or a specific team, there's going to be a way to do that online as well as if you want to send in cards to get painted or if you want to send in cards to donate, in which case you can get some of those painted back. I'm happy to do that, um, but we're just trying to systemize that. So, um, so the answer is yes, I will take requests. Not right now, uh, not right this second, but like very soon we're like building that in. But if you mean like tonight, like when we splatter paint on some cards and you want to say yellow, paint yellow, then sure, I will take that request for sure. Chris, and first day you bought the bundle. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, man, that's another cool thing too. Like the bundle pairings matter a lot, I think, in 2020. Like I'm a, when I did marketing, I was like it was beaten into me beaten is the wrong word instilled into me by my mentor Roy Steves <laughs> data driven so like I know that d like looking at the data the pairings really so a card could boost you up a card could not boost you up and then you're boosting up the other card uh, and I mean this Jeter was amazing that I dropped with absolutely bananas so that's like really really cool Yellow. Mike says yellow. All right, we'll paint some yellow. Okay, well, if we're going to paint yellow, that means we're painting art cards um, and not the boxes, which is fine because boxes are blue, down bottom's blue. We have to paint everything anyways, so it doesn't matter. Um, uh, Derek, thank you so much. Um, ESPN article, did I receive any feedback? So, no, I mean, you know, uh, Tops loved it. They gave me feedback and said, great. Um, the guy who wrote it, uh, Alden, he, we, you know, we had three phone calls for that, that blur, that section that he did. We wanted to make sure to really get it all right. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I got that feedback. Uh, my parents loved it. Uh, Tony loved it. Lauren loved it. So, you know, I did get a lot of feedback, and it was really good. And it was from people that matter, that, you know, the people that matter. Um, so, yeah, to answer your question, yes. Uh, nice. I was just buy five Jeters, bought ten. Yeah, exactly. I bought ten Jeters too. I literally bought ten of the Jeters. It's a beautiful card. And for like cards that are not mine, ten is the, ten is the most I've ever bought of a single card that's not mine. That one capped out at ten. Uh, another one that it was um, the Trout by Baller. I thought was really great. Uh, and a couple couple others. Um, couple Gregory Sifts actually. I love Cal Ripken. I bought 10 of the Cal Ripkins by Gregory Sif. I think he's a gorgeous card. And super low print right now, which is great. So 10 of those is like a, a chunk. Um, okay, so well, I think we should uh, I think we should do a little bit of painting, guys. It's already 11 o'clock. We started at 10.23. We've been chit-chatting, which is cool. Um, but we do, we still have a lot to do. So Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, is that open? All right, let's see here. We're just um, good to go iOS here. Bam, bam, bam. there we go. Okay. Let's do that. There's a teeny, teeny. Oh, oh. that one. Okay, if we could put me like, look at that treasure chest up there, up, up there. Just take the treasure chest, right? Okay. Double audio. <laughs> Every time I bring in the new camera, it does that. So now it's fixed, and once the uh, once you, once the lag catches up, you guys will see it's fixed. Thank you guys for telling me. There's got to be a way to like automate it, just to say like every time you add a second video source, don't make audio. I don't know.
<laughs> Thanks, Nick. Do you hear the mouth? Yeah, I do. Something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, unfortunately. yeah it's okay. okay. I don't mind. We got to name him. We had a, a cockroach named Harold for about a day. I finally captured him and sent him free outside. Everyone was freaking out that I was capturing a cockroach to set him free, but I did it. Did it. That's how I know you're not from New York. <laughs> I'm not from New York. Dang, Derek bought 50 Maguires. Nice, bro. Of course you can send as many as you want for me to sign. Got you, man. Dude, what you sent me before was ridiculous. I was actually just showing Matt today some of the stuff in the new PC. Ridiculous. Ridiculous stuff. Uh, yeah, El Gato. Are we going to name the, the mouse cat in Spanish? Because that could actually be kind of funny. We actually used to have a cat at my parents' house, my sister's cat named Monkey. There was a cat named Monkey. That was cool. So we could have a cat named Gato. Uh, or sorry, <laughs> we, could have a, we, <laughs> we could have a mouse named Gato. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you, Derek, so much. That's that's huge. Um, if I don't get the gold, I sure hope you do because it'd be really fun to fly you out here and hang out in the studio and paint some stuff. Uh, Rich, no, I've not been to the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. I would love to, and as soon as stuff dies down, um, that's awesome. Um, if we send a sign, which is generous, would you put on a hologram sticker after? Yes. Uh, everything that I sign... Here's an example. Nolan Ryan signed, unnumbered. Hologram sticker. And, and you can quote me on this. If you got a crappy case on your card, shoot it my way. I'll sign it and I'll put it in a new case. Seal it back up. One touch is only. Bam, right back at you. And how many cases did we get rid of because they were scratched today? At least 60. He said 50 before. Now he says 60. Well, yeah, 50 I, or 60 I, cases yeah. we replaced today mm -hmm. on autos because they weren't up to par. Even though they were nice cases, like they were the one touches still, they weren't good enough for the auto card. So we're swapping those out brand new. I literally ordered uh, 375 130 points uh, on Amazon today, which is the max they would let me order. I ordered another 500 cases on, on eBay today, 130 points. So I have 875 30 points coming. Those are just used to churn. Um, and then what we're doing is we're taking all the messed up cases, and that's what I'm just putting my PC in for now because I'm going to hold the cards anyways, and the inside is still nice. I don't care if the case is cracked or it's like not perfect. That's the plan. Uh, let's see. All right, let's paint some stuff. Love you guys. I do have like a, show you guys, I have another canvas up here, up on the wall, but the reason that I have that is because that's actually a screen for my projector. Now that is art canvas, I could paint on that and I eventually will, but that is where I watch the last, the last dance and other things when I decide to watch TV, which is very rare these days um, anyways we got a tiny one that's the rest of the roll I'm gonna have to order another roll but we're gonna paint some stuff
little more stuff. What do you guys think? Is that cool? Um, Scott, thanks so much, man. That's kind of the idea of the whole thing. Scott says, this kind of video in connection with the fans makes me want to purchase every card he puts out. Welcome yeah. to the club, bro. It's literally this. Thank you. I appreciate that. It would mean a lot to me if you did that. But if you don't want to do that, you can still just come hang out with us every night. We always paint stuff um, and make cool things. And sometimes I read you guys stories. And sometimes uh, we open cards. We break a lot of cards. Yeah. All right. We're going to... Um, sometimes we have cool guests. Sometimes I have cool guests. We have other artists. Uh, hey, you want to make a cameo? Yeah. I got to go to the bathroom, so I'm just going to let you... Oh, wow. Entertain them. Oh, that's, that's more than a cameo. That's just taking over. Yeah, okay, he's going to take good. over. So this is Matt. It's third day. He's killing it. We met on Twitter. Uh, we're, we're, I'm going to give him the hot seat. Oops. I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be very fast. Uh, but, you know, you just talk to them. You can answer the, yeah. you know, whatever. Whatever's you going, want. everybody. I'm Matt. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, when Blake mentioned a cameo tonight, I wasn't expecting to take over myself. But uh, here we are. Um, so I just, okay, I will plug my Twitter. I'm, I'm on Twitter at Matt underscore Costello, C-A-S-T-E-L-L-O. Um, hey everybody. Hey Nick. Hey Grant. Um, so I live in Astoria in Queens and I just randomly, here's my connection to Blake. Here's our, our, how we met story. Why do I look familiar? I don't know. I'm in the, the Midwest car group, so that might be part of it. Um, so I just saw that he had a lot of, of packing and uh, shipping needs, and I just DM'd him and said, hey, I'm a fan of uh, the Tops 2020 project and your work and would love to help out if, if you need a hand. And he said, yeah, I definitely do. Can I sign your card? I can, but it would probably be less valuable. Thank you very much. Cheap, got a, a cheap beer shirt. Um, probably be less valuable <laughs> if I signed it, so I don't know if you want that. But... Um, so yeah, I've been working uh, with Blake since Monday, and it's been awesome. And uh, Tony was here today, and we helped uh, helped out uh, just just signing cards. Not we weren't signing cards, just helping Blake set up the cards so he can sign them. Um, I have been reselling some Topps cards a little bit myself, the the ones that I've been buying on on Topps.com. Um, but yeah, I, I absolutely love the project. I was I was a big into cards as a kid and I just got back into it a couple months ago um, <laughs> he does not pay me an autographed cards but he probably should I should probably ask him if he'd, he'd be willing to uh, to do that um, but definitely hoping to uh, to snag a couple a couple of Blake's cards from his his extra uh, pile so uh, I appreciate it Russ thank you very much thanks Grant thanks Daryl um, so yeah, it's been great so far, and I'm looking forward to uh, continuing to work with Blake and Tony and the whole team. And keep uh, all right, I'm I'm gonna keep keep going. Um, hey, Kristen, great. how's it going? It's been a uh, Blake gave up drinking in May. Are you teasing him with that shirt? No, I uh, gave up Modelo in May. Oh, okay, Mike. Uh, yeah, Blake only gave up Modelo, so all other I beers. I gave up everything for like I made it in about ten days. Ten days, ten days. We're back. Huh. Was that okay. la Was that la No, it is May. Okay, it I is May. Say, still May. Yeah, twenty twenty yeah. has been a strange year. So Lauren had a stream that was sponsored by Twisted Tea. That's right. So that's what got you back into it. Cases of Twisted Tea. Oh, but yeah, it's been a Modelo-less May. Okay, that Which that is counts. Something. Which yeah. Is something. It's definitely that, good. That is it's pretty good. Should we, uh, I'm out of people. should we get me out of the frame and get your your uh, art in well, it? I don't mind if you're in the frame. I think okay. we're we're gonna. Uh, you want to help me pick some cards out? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Here, you can, you can sit there. Okay. We'll bring out. I'll, I'll bring the other, other chair over there too. Okay. Let's do. Um, where's another point in twenty twenties? Here, I'll let you pick, okay. pick oh, some. Okay. I'll pick a couple. Too. I've been you. buying the Project Twenty Twenty cards since maybe card thirty five online. I wish I had started right at card one with the Ichiro. That would have been awesome. Um, you too. Oh. That is pretty awesome. All right, so let's pick out some cool cards for Blake. I really like this card, the Bichette rookie. That's a nice one. So with that, maybe a little Ricky Henderson. 
see. I really like the, uh, the Topps throwback cards. Yes. Chris Bryant. So we gotta take er everything that we're gonna paint. We gotta take out of the sleeve. Yes, that is true. So Devers. Is that how you say it? Because I was saying Devers. Is it Devers or Devers? I think it's Devers. Devers. And by I think it's definitely Devers. Okay, yeah. Great. Yeah. I remember we got it. I got into it. All right. I myself am not an artist. But uh, yeah, Kristen, MWBB fam. Uh, I'm not an artist. I'm a writer and editor. Blake is the, as you all know, the artist. Maybe that card. Oh, that's a nice card. Is that the original? It is, huh? Yeah, it is. So should we do it? Probably. Yeah, it's not a rookie. Here's the cow. Great. Yeah. Decently Go, for it. Go with a little, okay, little Pete Alonzo. And I'll work you the year. Oh, can't wait for baseball to come back. July 4th? I hope so. I hope so. That would be great. That would be quite the way to uh, celebrate July yeah, awesome. 4th. Yeah. Man, whoever has, <laughs> like, uh, imagine, like, whoever has the trout drop right at, like, July 4th. Oh you yeah, know, that would be like baseball oh, that's gonna be back, insane. Yeah, like pro, you know, like that's gonna be insane for for Project Twenty Twenty. Yeah, that absolutely. Ooh, Otani, that's a nice card. We spent all this time putting them in sleeves just to take them out of sleeves. <laughs> also, I, I really like this Otani card because it shows his stats with with Nippon, Nippon Ham. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right. Alright, got some cards? Yeah. Okay, let's grab all these. Okay. You wanna help me just uh we're just gonna plot these out. Yeah. Charlotte Knights, yes, love minor league baseball. Let's go. Good stuff. Oh, find a glaber. We will find a glaber. I'll throw a glaber in there. Teeny card. I love getting painted on. I love, I love this, dude. Oh, that's I, such I an love awesome this card. card. I love this card. This one's going to be so sick painted on. But it's also just going randomly in the pile. <laughs> what do you guys think about the Gypsy Queen cards? Yeah, you like them? Never mind. There we go. Yankees. Don't sleep on McGuire. Yup. McGuire uh, Sosa documentary coming out on ESPN in June, I think. Yep. So that should be pretty cool. Yeah, okay, where's the other? Here's the other selects box. Yes. There's a whole box. Fire. Yeah, like, look at, look at all these, like, dude, we show, oh, a yeah. show a couple of these to yeah. them. Those are, those are, yeah, we'll show those. Got some really cool cards here. Well, Trouts. A little Mattingly. Look at this Special Forces Trout. Cool. Nolan Ryan. Someone yeah, everyone. Alan Gifford, look. The Kid. Griffey. Big Hurt. All right, Joe, we'll see if we can find a Glaber judge. Let's see what else we got. Are you painting cards from Lolo's pile, asks Mike. No, not yet. Not yet, Mike. I agree, Kristen. I think they're beautiful, too. They're beautiful cards. I agree. I really like the Madeline. Oh, that trout's sick. Oh my god, these cards are so cool! Hey, let me see the cards. Like, like, that? Yeah. Uh, 
that. Ooh, yeah. Uh, here's another. Here's this one. That's player in baseball. Oh, I've never seen this card. Wow, this, this is, is cool. He's looking very, he's looking very pensive here. Look at this one. Thinking about his next home run, he's gonna hit. Uh, another Griffey. Everyone's. Little shit right there. His favorite player of the '90s. Oh at least mine. And special forces. Trout. Here. Good stuff, Y Rocks, 2001. Thank you for sending Kevin. these in. Oh, is that Kevin? Yep. Thanks, Kevin. Dude, Kevin brought some heat. Yes, he did. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking, we're looking pretty good. Let's see. We can keep hitting that. I'm going to start with this. All right. A little bit. Ooh, wow. Some gaps. <laughs> I'm just getting real excited here. Great. Brooks Robinson. Yes. Jim Palmer, not Arnold. Different sport. KB. Ah. Oh, look at that Mike Trout. That's sick. Oh yeah. Let's see what we got. Nice. I like these. I like these old Don Russ cars. Calvin Yon. All right. I think we're good. Big unit. Sosa, White Sox, Sosa. I love that old White Sox logo. It's so cool. I'm a Yankees fan, personally. Apologies for everybody who hates the evil empire. Tony Gwynn. Doc. Mike Schmidt. That's a cool card. 86 NL home run leaders. Wow, if you could guess who number two was for the NL in home runs, I would be very, very impressed. Mike Schmidt was number one with 37. Two players tied with 31 home runs in 1986. Excuse me, 86, not 87. <laughs> we do all have our faults. <laughs> Touche. I'll give you one. Dave Parker is one. The other one's really tough. We'll come back. We'll, we'll have the answer shortly. Hey, do you want to do a little, little Q&A? Yeah. Let's do a little giveaway. All right. What are we going to do what? Well, I don't know. We're get, they're going to give away one of these cards. Oh, perfect. If they get your, your quiz right. Oh, that's right. All right. Let's do it. Yeah. What do you think? Okay. So, do yeah. Okay, so. All these cards are covered, right? Yeah. I just want to make sure everything's covered. Yes, yes, everything's, everything's covered. Okay, great. Uh, let's double check. So, 86 NL. Oh, let's see if we got any. Bob Horner. Gorman Thomas. Uh, Costello with a C-A, Tony. C-A-S-T-E-L-L-O. -L -L. So, I'll give you a clue for the 86 NL home run leaders question. This player shares the same name with a former with NBA Bo <laughs> with Bo Bichette, with a former NBA player <laughs> who had a classic nickname. Not Canseco. Bob Horner's close, really close. He's 27 homers. He's in that top 10, along with Daryl Strawberry, Jack Clark, another good. Another good guess, not the answer though. Another nice try, but not the <laughs> Who's the MVP of the 92 World Series? Are you asking him? No, uh, someone at Nick Ross asked me. I don't know. Ooh, Daryl Strawberry, that's a really good guess. Very close. He's also in the top 10. 27 home runs, but he is not the answer. Glenn Davis, Cameron Hicks nailed it. Well done, Cameron Hicks. Glenn, not Big Baby Davis, the, the baseball Glenn Davis, who I was not very familiar with. Dale Murphy, really good guess. He was fourth with 29 homers, but great job to Cameron Hicks. You got the correct answer. Well done.
Write it down. All right, Cameron, let me know what you want. One of these cards, got a lot of the stars. Uh, so if you uh, have anyone in particular that you'd like, just uh, throw it in the chat and we will pick that out for you. Daryl, oh, so close. Pedro Guerrero, <laughs> that's good, that's really good. No problem, Cameron. Well done. Dale Murphy was a really good guess. He was such a good player. And then the other big name in that top ten is Gary Carter, the Hall of Fame catcher. Dale Murphy definitely has a really strong, like a very strong Hall of Fame case, and definitely didn't get enough Hall of Fame consideration. I think as as he should have. Oh, Glenn Davis is a really nice nice guy. That's awesome. <laughs> Couldn't Google his name fast enough. Oh wow! I have not seen this in person before. Very cool. Oh, you did, Nick. I'm sorry. I totally missed that. I will go back. Yes, Nick. You get a prize as well. I'm sorry. I missed that in the chat. Um, so mention a player that you would like, and we will. Uh, we will definitely get you one of those one of those players, one of those cards. Wait, yeah, explain why he's in the whole thing. Wow, he's a two-time MVP. That's really impressive. I remember his card in the uh, '89 Upper Deck set. Obviously, the one with Griffey is the, the most famous card. But I remember he had a very nice uh, a nice card in that set. My my favorite current Yankee is also Glaber. So I'm, I'm with you there. I, uh, I used to work for MLB Pipeline, so I followed the, the top prospects pretty closely. And so it was very cool to, uh, to see the Yankees get Glaber in the, in the Chapman trade and then see him kind of rise through Trent Thunder and Scranton Wilkesbury and then make the Yankees and just become the, the star that he is. Thanks, Danny family. I appreciate it. I hope Dale gets a, g a good chance with the veterans vote. Yeah, 399 non-steroid homers is, is really impressive. Absolutely. My girlfriend's cousin, Pat Borders. Cool. Bad Mercer. Interesting. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at my guitar getting completely covered. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm just over here entertaining myself. <laughs> That's art. Beautiful thing. Yeah, that was a great trade. I agree. Oh, thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. Dominguez. Oh, that is a good question. Um, I'm I'm bullish. I mean, I think it's a little. Uh, a little much to say that he's the next Trout, which I mean, people have have thrown about. Um, he's only 17. He's, you know, a teenager. I mean, he should be like graduating high school right now. Um, and he's, you know, he's got all the tools. I mean, his body's incredibly impressive for 17, and, and he looks kind of like a, a grown man, um, just in terms of his musculature. So uh, I, I don't know. I've never seen him play baseball really, but. Um, I'm expecting at least an above average uh, major league player out of Dominguez at a minimum. Um, and then, I mean, the ceiling is really, I guess, Trout. But that seems a little unfair to saddle a 17 year old with those type of expectations. Um, a minor leaguer who I really am high on is Mackenzie Gore, the southpaw for the Padres. I think he's going to be an absolute stud, um, just like the next Kershaw. So if, if you like. If you like southpaw pitchers, definitely Luis Robert, that's another great name. I really like Robert. Um, and then everyone knows Wander Franco. He's you know, the consensus top prospect in baseball. Anthony Volpe, Yankees first rounder. Nice, Alex, good stuff. Um, I like Volpe. I don't know as much about him uh, as I do some of the more you know, established minor leaguers who, who weren't recently drafted, but he seems like a really nice upside guy. Um, he's got a lot of potential to be uh, a starter for the Yankees for years to come. Let's see what else we have. 
Anyone in DC wants to go to a World Series game once it's back? Nice. Yeah, I'm with you, Mike. I would definitely want Gore on my dynasty team. Absolutely. I like Trout, too. Marco Luciano is a really nice prospect for the Giants, and they definitely need an infusion of talent because that farm system is, has unfortunately been one of the worst in baseball for a while. Um, and he's definitely, you know, him and Joey Bart are a really nice one-two uh, prospect duo for the Giants. Um, Gavin Lux, I really like Gavin Lux. If they have a spot for him to play every single day in L.A., and I'm not sure if that's the case, uh, I think he'll put up some really nice numbers. So I I'm pretty high on Gavin Lux. Um, I would love to see Robert. That's awesome that you, you saw him in Charlotte, Jerry. He is a stud. He can hit. He can run. He can field. I mean, he's a five. He's really a five-tool player. Uh, he definitely seems like he's got some griffy in him. Vlad Jr., yeah, I've heard, I've heard a couple good things about Vlad Jr. You know, he's, his dad was kind of a decent player, too. So, yeah, he... Uh, I, I, once Vladdy, you know, is, he's got that conditioning right, I'm mean, 35 homers, 320, I mean, he could do that every year. That's really not out of the question. Um, I don't know if you, anyone saw that video of him hitting a home run off a ball that was just sitting on a tee. That was, like, one of the most impre impressive things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, that was really cool. Helio Ramos, another good Giants prospect. His stock has faded a little bit, whereas Marciano, uh, Marco Luciano's stock has really gone up. But he's still a nice, a nice toolsy outfield prospect. Jason Gore, he is a good golfer. That's true. Christopher Fisher, we would like to see you dance for a card tonight. Uh, we're painting a variety. Yeah, we are painting a variety of cards. Some old cards, some new cards. How do we get a splatter card? Asked Gabrielle. Um, Blake is going to Tell add... Tell Eric to put the link in the bio. Eric, if you could please... Uh, put it in the comments. Throw the link in the comments. Uh, that would be awesome. Much appreciated. That's a great point, Nicholas. You absolutely do hear about these guys for years. And it almost like builds up the anticipation. You're almost more excited to see what they can become than you are for established stars, really. Blaine Bishop, I, yeah, Bishop's an, uh, isn't Hunter Bishop on the Giants? Julio Rodriguez, yes, I love, I'm really, I think Julio Rodriguez is like Manny Ramirez 2.0. I really think he's going to just mash when he gets up. A top prospect I think is overrated. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good question. Yeah, Vlad is rated 80 in hitting. He was the first player, I believe, MLB Pipeline gave an 80 uh, on the 20 to 80 scale for batting. Casting here. Um, Christian Pash, JJ Blade. Yeah, is, is it Pache or Pash? I can't, I can never remember how you pronounce his last name. Um, he's just such a good defensive center fielder that I think he's going to eventually uh, force Acuna to move over um, to a corner. Uh, but yeah, his offense needs to catch up with his defense, so I'm not sure if, if he'll if he'll ever you know be a top of the order hitter. He might kind of be like a seven eight eight hitter. Thanks, Aaron. I really appreciate it. Oh, that's so cool! You caught a, a Vlad Senior foul ball. That's on my my baseball bucket list. I would love to catch a foul ball. Blaine Bishop <laughs> is your neighbor. Okay, that works. Uh, Nick, I appreciate it. <laughs> Pat Shea. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of who a prospect who I, I'm not quite as high on. Um, well, for, uh, for the two Tigers top pitching prospects, um, Matt Manning and Casey Mize, I think I'm a little higher on Matt Manning than Casey Mize, even though Mize is generally ranked a bit higher than Manning, although Manning is ranked higher in some spots. Um, Manning just has unbelievable stuff. And although Mize has really good stuff, I mean, his controls and command is, is outstanding. Uh, I think Ma uh, Manning just has a bit of a higher ceiling, whereas Mize has a higher floor. Not that I'm down on Mize, I do, I do really like Mize. Um, I collect mostly baseball, uh, mostly prospects and, and young guys. Um, Josh Jung is, a, is an interesting prospect, a lot of power, uh, a lot of swing and miss. 
But, yeah, he's, I mean, him in Texas, uh, well, I guess the new ballpark won't play quite as much to uh, – we don't really know because it hasn't opened yet. Um, but probably won't be as beneficial to power hitters as, as Arlington ballpark – Arlington was. Um, Lazardo looks awesome. Uh, if you're uh, an ace fan, you've got to be pretty psyched to see Jesus Lazardo pitch in the majors. Uh, he's another pitching prospect who I'm, I'm really high on. I would love to come to a, a, Marlins, uh, a Marlins game, Daryl. Thank you. Oh, and that's awesome that you pulled a, a Jordan rookie auto in, in, a, in your first heritage box. That's amazing. Nice, Nick. We'll get you a Casey Mize for sure. I was a fan of Phil when he was with the Yankees. Um, I actually thought he, I thought he maybe be a bit better with the Yankees than he was. Although he had a really nice year with the Yankees. Um, Riley Green, a nice prospect. I don't know too much about him. Uh, we, I don't know, Nick. We could make this a new weekly segment. <laughs> gotta, 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 gotta ask Blake you about that. Job. Yeah, let's let's see. Oh, that's so cool, Scott. I'm so glad you just got back into it. I, the the 2020 project really kind of got me back into it too for the first time in more than a decade. Ah, oh, Robert Pawson. I have no idea what he's going to be as a pro, but I mean, he's one of the the high, you know, most highly touted international signings of the. Uh, of the past uh, period, so you know he seems like he's he's got a ton of potential, and people are uh, pulling his card in, in the the new Bowman first edition, and, and they're going like hotcakes. So uh, uh, you know it seems like he's he's a guy to be excited about until until he struggles. We got, a, we got a Pete Alonso and Acuna Nacho. What? No that's that. awesome. They're stuck together, so that's just one card now. One card. The Acuna Alonso Nacho. That's really cool. So much talent right there. <laughs> it's random chance. <laughs> All right. Uh, twins prospects. Um, Robert, I really like Royce Lewis. Um, I'm sure you do too. Um, he seems like he kind. I mean, he kind of reminds me of Jeter. Just the all-around game. Um, obviously, he's not a huge power guy, nor was Jeter. Sort of seems like a, a line drive hitter, you know, who could maybe hit 15 to 20 homers a year. Um, could easily hit 300 a year, be a top of top of the order hitter. Probably a better better defender than Jeter. I didn't say that. Uh, um, and then I really like um, Kirilov as well. I mean, he's another guy who's just a, a, a pure line drive hitter. Uh, more power than Royce Lewis for sure, but... Um, just a really nice bat, and he's he looks like he can be a, a really key cog for the Twins for, for the next decade, if he can stay healthy, as is the case with, with all players. Um, and then uh, Jordan Balsav, uh, I can't quite, how do you pronounce his name, Balsavkovic? Um, he's a pitcher who just moved into the top 100 last year for the Twins, um, and I, I really like him. I actually was lucky enough to see him pitch in Fort Myers, Florida for the Miracle last year, um, which was really cool, and he was absolutely awesome. I think he let up one run in six innings, um, and his stuff looked great. Oh, Scott, I feel you. The Pirates are pretty pretty terrible, but that stadium, PNC Park, is absolutely beautiful, so hopefully that helps make up for the, the lack of quality baseball. Any good prospects in the Marlins farm system? Yeah, they actually have gotten a couple good prospects. That farm's gotten a lot better over the past couple years. That was really one of the worst farm systems in baseball. Um, Ch Jazz Chisholm is a guy I like, um, along with J.J. Blade. Um, Chisholm they got in a trade. Blade they drafted as a first-round pick. Um, so, yeah, the Marlins, for the first time in a while, are, are finally looking. Things are looking up for them, so that's, that's good. Uh, Hunter Green fell off. Well, I mean, Hunter Green had uh, Tommy John, so yeah, his stock definitely went down after that. But you know, hopefully he can he can come back. He seems like a really great dude. He did a lot of um, a lot of stuff with Pipeline. Hey, what's up, Blake? So, dude, you're killing it over here. Thanks, man. He was Phil was pretty good in the pen. Tom, Tom here. 
Oh, not bad. I, I didn't see gotcha. it. I'm not leaving you hanging. Don't worry. Oh, good. Thanks, me. Nick. I will tell him. Bobby Witt. Yeah, Bobby Witt seems pretty awesome. <laughs> you need to plan out your disappointment when the Marlins trade. Touche, Daryl. Royce Lewis. I don't think Royce will be a bust. Um, I would definitely bet on Royce to be a good, a good player. Ooh, C.J. Abrams. I really like C.J. Abrams. Um, yeah, I just think he's going to be a really good player. He's got such incredible speed. Uh, Tatis and Abrams as a double play duo. Ooh, that's a scary thought for everybody who's an NL West fan that's not a Padres fan. Um, so, yeah, C.J. Abrams. I, I'm actually, I think I'm going to try to buy one of his Chrome Sapphire cards before they skyrocket in price. So... Really like CJ. Big fan. Let's see what else. That's awesome, Robert. I really like Blake's art as well. And that is a spicy nacho. My best. What's up? I said that's right. Spicy yeah. nacho. Uh, my best prospect call. Um, Trout, I wasn't really following base or prospects as closely in like 2010 um, Acuna for sure I definitely thought he would be a superstar I was uh, doing a lot of Arizona Fall League games while, when he was playing uh, for one of the Fall League teams I can't remember which one um, and he was just dominating absolutely dominating I think he hit like 400 um, over the course of Fall League and I was, I was pretty confident that he would be at worst an all-star at best what he is now so um, I didn't buy too many Acunas unfortunately so I kind of missed the boat there I wasn't really buying too many cards you know three to five years ago uh, but I'm trying to get a couple now um, Key Brian Hayes I really like Key Brian Hayes I think he's a app I mean just defensively he's he's absolutely phenomenal so that alone I think will will keep him in, in the Pirates lineup for, for quite some time I mean he's really I think like a, a Matt Chapman Nolan Arenado um, type defensive third baseman. Um, I mean, so his war could be pretty impressive just on his defensive abilities alone. His offense obviously is not quite as stellar as his D, but I still think he could be a, a 270 hitter with at least decent decent power. Um, and I was also a big Charlie Hayes fan when he was on the Yankees. So a little nostalgic there. Let's see what else we have. Clint Frazier. I think the Yankees are going to trade him eventually, but I think his stock has really gone down, so I'm not sure how much they'll they'll be able to get for him. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it would make sense to keep Clint as you know a fourth or fifth outfielder, considering how often Giancarlo is hurt and Judge too. Unfortunately, it's, it's hard to stay healthy when you're six seven two ninety. At least that's what people tell me. I signed an autograph for back and it. Tony's okay. Tony's gonna be mad. Oh no. An auto, an accidental auto. On a faulty too. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. I thought you meant you signed your autograph on the card. Oh, yeah. okay, this is, yeah. Tony, did, Tony told me not to send the actual autograph cards, but I started the collection. It's faulty, it's not, it's not the worst. You know, if there's a card to paint over that's an auto card, I guess that wouldn't be the worst one. Uh, JJ Blade. Yeah, JJ's a nice looking prospect. Can't wait to go to some games again. Thanks, Jerry. I appreciate it. Otani. I mean, Otani's one of the most talented players I think I've ever seen. His hitting was the thing that really impressed me the most. I thought he'd be a, like an ace caliber pitcher. Uh, I thought that would translate for sure. But just the power he had absolutely astonished me. Um, I think he'll come back strong. I'm just worried that, you know, the Angels will have him on a tight innings limit. Um, and so, you know, maybe he'll throw 120, 150 innings instead of 200. Um, but just, I mean, Otani's just so much fun to watch. He's really awesome. We will try to find you a Glaber. Cool. Nick Madrigal. I love these. Oh, this is so cool. Little Tatis Jr. It's so funny how like how different all of them are. It's really cool. It's a cool card. See the art. Very cool. White Sox are regretting that trade. 
Sorry, James. Um, I like Nick Madrigal. I don't. I'm not sure if he'll be like a 330 hitter. I think that might be a little uh, a, a little tough to for him to accomplish on a yearly basis. But I definitely think he's like a 300 hitter, top of the lineup, solid defensive player at second. Um, just like a really good table setter that you want on your team. Um, I mean, he could easily score like 110, 120 runs a year with Robert and Abreu and uh, Grandal behind him. I mean, that that's a a pretty potent lineup right there. I like. What color they want next? What color would you guys like? Throw some color solar socks. I like Will Smith. Um, I actually have one of his Bowman Chrome autos, so I'm hoping that he turns into an absolute superstar for the Dodgers. Um, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see what the Dodgers do with Kiber Ruiz because they've got another top catching prospect, and that's Ruiz. Um, so maybe they trade Ruiz. Maybe they platoon Smith and Ruiz, you know, Ruiz keep them both fresh, have them both play 80 games. Um, but, yeah, I really like Will Smith. Um, I don't think the power that he showed last year will necessarily continue to translate year over year. Uh, I think he's probably like a 20 homer a year guy, 25. I don't think he's like a 40 homer a year. Um, but he went off last year. He was just going on an absolute tear. Pierre Javelinas, that's right, or Javelinas. I can't remember if the J is silent. But, yes, that was... Oh, that's cool, Kristen, that you're friends with him on Facebook. I think Judge, unfortunately, I think he will have surgery, but I hope not. I hope he's okay. Just cracked ribs, fractured ribs, that's that's a really tough injury. Which World Series game did Charlie Hayes catch the final out? I think it was the last, I think it was game 696, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. Can, can down, we're good. Bo B. Oh, I love Bo B. Um, yeah, definitely very high on Bo Bichette. Uh, I think his game is just outstanding. He's got the flow. Um, you know, he's a solid defender, so he'll stick it short. Um, and he can, hit, he can hit for average, and he's got some pop, too, for a guy of his size and for a, a shortstop. Um, so I'm all in on Bo. Uh, I was lucky enough to go with a friend and see the New Hampshire Fisher Cats last year, and I saw Bo and Vlad play which was very cool. Um, so that was pretty awesome. Pulte would be honored to see that painted over. Ooh, that's cold. That's cold. Wow, you got Otani's auto in person, Alex. That's so cool. That's really cool. That's a great point. Otani's speed is very underrated. He really is fast, and I had no idea. I get to go to a couple games. I try to go to some a year. Um, thanks, Daryl. I really appreciate it. Um, try to go to some minor league games. I'm, you know, I've been in, in New York and New Jersey for, for most of my life, so Brooklyn Cyclones, Trenton Thunder. I haven't gotten to a Staten Island Yankees game, so I, I hope I can do that someday. Um, but, yeah, I love minor league baseball. It's so much fun. Phil Hughes, will, he will want all the Tatis juniors. Let's see. Is Blake out of paper plates? We still got some paper plates. Thanks, Collecting Cutch. Appreciate it. Oh, we've got some color requests. A lot of color requests. Blue and orange, gold, yellow, green, purple, green. Kawasaki green and electric blue. Elect electric blue. We're doing some blue. We're doing some blue. Okay. Excuse me. Nico Horner, nice. Good auto. Joe, you know, I honestly think Trout being from New Jersey was a humongous factor in him going as late as he did. And if you've read any of like the oral history stories about teams that passed on Trout, they, they really emphasize how little they were able to see Trout because he played high school ball in Jersey and the weather's pretty, you know, bad in the spring from time to time so they, they weren't able to scout him as much so yeah he could have been a top five pick if he's from Texas or Florida or California that's a really good point I wish I had been able to see Trout in high school that would have been so cool 
Oh, Will Smith went to your rival high school. That's cool, Gus. No problem, Joel. Thanks, Daryl. <laughs> Daryl said, uh, maybe I could see if Blake could be my assistant for that as soon as I get a million followers. Once I catch Blake at 90,000 90, followers on Twitter, maybe I'll, I'll ask him. Yeah. yeah. How do you mail in some cards to have Blake sign them? Uh, I think there is a... Is there auto card? Are they autographed uh, like uh, top cards? If they are tops. Project 2020 cards, Justin. Um, Ideally, they're waiting and saving until they have like at least five. Yeah. Go for Ideally, it. you wait till you have like five. But if you DM me like on so Twitter together. or Tony, I'll give you the address. Just uh, got to mail in a self-addressed stamped envelope. I'll sign it for free. It's an envelope. That's all. Yeah. Damn. And Blake Studios' address is on his website, I believe, as well. Uh, I no. Think it is. Oh, I think it is. I think it is. Uh, it, it's, all, it's always been over DM, but... Okay, well, DM Blink, and he'll respond, or Tony. The J is silent in Javelinas. I thought that was the case, Alex. You are correct. Javelinas, no, no, no. Uh, wow, Otani, the sec second fastest MLB to first base. That's really impressive. Wow, you saw Glaber's first minor league game? That's so cool. Yeah, Trent Thunder Stadium. I had my birthday party there as a kid once. That was fun. Iron Pigs, would love to go to an Iron Pigs game. My most prized piece of memorabilia? I can think of two. Um, I've got a really big, like, 24 by 36 photo of Bernie Williams. Um, that's someone special, a family friend who uh, gave to me. Um, he's one of my favorite players of all time. Um, and I've also got a, a signed Joe DiMaggio photo that my my grandparents gave to me, which was uh, still good. So those are probably my two favorite pieces of, of sports memorabilia, Bernie Williams and Joe DiMaggio. Hey, tell him to buy McGuire on Tops.com. And yes, buy Mark McGuire on Tops.com. You've got about 12 hours left to do so, so. I think that sounds all right. Yeah, get that, get that Big Mac, and uh, maybe you get that one of one gold and uh, win a trip, all expenses, or all flight paid, not all expenses paid, but basically, basically all expenses paid, but the big expense is your flight, your flight, your hotel, completely play, paid by Blake. Get to hang out with Blake in the studio and paint or do paint whatever, stuff. paint some stuff, keep, it. keep, keep some cool keep art, keep some memories, and um, yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be pretty awesome. So look out, look out for that, uh, that one of one. I feel you, Joe. I'm from New Jersey, too, so we don't get too much love. <laughs> All we've got is the Devils for pro sports. Oh, the Red Bulls now, and there's a WNSL team, I believe, in Jersey. So more than just the Devils, excuse me. Oh, good stuff, Justin. Okay, address is not on the site. So, yeah, feel free to DM. Blake, who is your favorite celebrity you've met or made art for? That seems like a dangerous question. <laughs> uh, you say when you, yeah. CJ Anderson is one of my favorite people in the world. Okay. CJ Anderson. Yeah. He was the first football player I ever painted for, and has continued to support me and just be awesome. I, I volunteered at summer camp. He's just a great human. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eric. We appreciate it. Thanks for uh, throwing that link in there to tops.com. So if you didn't hear Blake, uh, C.J. Anderson, football player. What team did he play for? Uh, he played for the Denver Broncos. I thought so. Earth okay. Uh, he's oh, he's a ru played. running back, right? Yeah. yeah. Running back, he former running Bowl. back. He did win a Super Bowl. Um, he's just a great dude. That's awesome. So, yeah, C.J. Anderson. Yeah, Bernie is a great musician. 
Uh, I got really lucky. I randomly, I used to live in Jersey City, and uh, I was at a restaurant, and I saw Bernie Williams in there, and I like I freaked out. I I did. I went up and I said hi, and I said I was a huge fan of his, and just he was eating with someone, so I didn't want to like bother him and ask for a photo or anything like that. It was an empty. The restaurant was almost entirely empty, so I didn't feel too bad just briefly interrupting him but it was just very cool to meet him and that was that was really cool so burn baby burn forever bernie sanders bernie sanders bernie williams that's awesome alex yes all the bernies that is true the nj that will (laughs) that will uh reduce the travel costs I don't have Bernie CD. I need to get Bernie CD, actually. He's an amazing guitarist. I need to listen to his stuff. Yup, Robert Broncos. That's CJ Anderson. Um, I mostly collect uh, baseball, just just players I like. Glaber, Acuna, Eloy. Oh, Eloy Jimenez. I really like him. I think he's going to be a star. Awesome. Good stuff. Yeah, Blake can... If you send him, send him over to his studio with a, an envelope with the return address, he can absolutely sign those and, and send them back. We'll make it sign them. We'll make it He did play for the Rams. You're right. Absolutely. Crushed it for the Rams. That's right. He, he was retired, he and then he came back. He wasn't retired. He oh, he wasn't signed. retired. He, he wasn't. He, just, he was unsigned. You're right. You're right. But he, he got dropped by the Panthers because of Christian PMC. And then the uh, Rams pick him up for the playoff run, and he really was—he was incredible for them. Yeah, yeah that's right. Productive. That's right. I totally, I totally forgot about that. C.J. Anderson was was awesome for the Rams. Oh, good stuff, Joe. That's awesome. That's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. You met Matt Damon in Toronto Airport. It was the restaurant was Matthews. It's right by the Grove Street Path Stop. Good, good restaurant. Uh, Blake, what is your favorite canvas to paint on? Like type of surface? Yeah, what, what, what do you mean by canvas? Like type of surface? I paint surface? on everything. I paint on like canvas and wood and everything. plastic, foam board. All my, all my top art is on foam. So whatever, just whatever. You name it, Blake yeah. paints on it, basically. So. Um, Holy cow, Scott, that's so cool. You were just walking along in Jeter, just popped out. That's so cool. I hope you I hope you kept that business card. <laughs> that's really cool. I was uh, I was a huge Jeter fan as a kid, as most Yankees fans were in the nineties and two thousands. Bernie Mac. He was a funny guy, Bernie Mac. Labor Chrome Sapphire Rookie. Yeah, that is a beautiful card. CJ from Cal. Go back. Yeah, no way, Cal. Joe. That's yeah. awesome. CJ is going to Cal along with uh, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, that's right. And uh, was it Marshawn Lynch? Yes, he did. Yeah, Marshawn Lynch also went to Cal. Was there lots of fans for him? I was paying for Aaron. But Wait, you paid for Marshawn Lynch? I did. That's so cool. That's that was, that was actually my favorite. That was a really cool campus. And that might be my favorite campus. That's really cool. Yeah. I need to see that. That's awesome. How how was Marshawn? Uh, I didn't get to meet him. Oh, you didn't get to meet him? Okay. I don't always get to meet him. Gotcha. Gotcha. He's a he's an interesting character, Marshawn Lynch. I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. You guys were born in the same hospital, <laughs> just ten years apart. <laughs> Otherwise, you would have been best friends. <laughs> Question from Robert Blake: Have you ever seen the documentary Style Wars? Uh, I have the old graffiti documentary. It's fucking awesome. Wow! Oh, very cool. Yeah, it's great. Style Wars is great. Exit through the gift shop. Uh, Saving Banksy. Um, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of good like uh, art and history classes you can get through like documentaries. Nice. I've seen Exit through the gift shop. That was great. 
Cam Newton going to the Steelers? Your guess is as good as mine, Mike. That'd be interesting. Yeah, that would be. So he'd back up Ben? I don't know if Ben would be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Danning family, Marshawn Lynch just <laughs> being painted so he wouldn't get fined. That's really good. That's really good. Thanks so much, Collecting Cutch. Good night. Appreciate you for uh, for being on the stream. Stay awesome too. That's Blake, but yeah, stay awesome. All of it. Oh, very cool. Wow. Oh, this one looks awesome. I really like that one. Yeah, that's a very cool card. Thank you so much, Eric, for posting the link. Yeah, thank you, Eric. Appreciate you, Eric. You are the man. Appreciate it very much. Uh, Jason, um, hopefully that uh, hopefully Tops will send you those other two Ryans. That's a bummer. Danning family, what is the business model for the 2020 project artists? Is it based on sales, commission, something else, combo? Don't want to hear numbers, just interested. Uh, we get a royalty. Oh, I'll come in now. Okay, yeah, yeah, you answer this one. Let me, let me. What's up? Business model. Uh, we get a royalty. If you want to pick up any of those and just yeah. put them on cardboard, um, it's cool. Do you, do you want to do another problem? Yeah, probably one more. Is there one under? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? So, business model is, uh, we get, uh, uh, royalty percentage from all the sales so a higher print run means more money for us it's not a super high percent but it's a percent that matters and so it's uh, paying the bills which is great on top of that my business model is artist autographs card art like you saw here uh, I will be selling some of that until now I've just been giving it all away uh, we're gonna continue to give it all away we're never gonna stop doing that but what we're gonna change is, if you wanna pick a team, that might cost, I don't know, five or 10 bucks. If you wanna pick a player, that might cost 25 bucks. And then if you want a star, like a uh, Griffey or a Trout, those are gonna be listed on the website. Probably 50 to 100 bucks, Not, nothing crazy. Uh, but they're also like expensive cars to begin with. So that's the business model for me. A Little bit of royalty, a little bit of artist autos, a little bit of canvas uh, card art and a whole lot of free cards for people just to get them involved and excited about collecting again uh, and that will continue to be a thing as long as, um, as long as I'm doing stuff we'll be giving out free stuff that's the business uh, that's the business of it Kevin I got to see uh, Matthew Rosen yeah I, dude so I ordered three cards from Matthew Rosen I think his art's amazing and um, We've been chatting a little bit. I talked to him about having him here on the live stream and he said he's down. So that's very exciting. Uh, he's awesome, like crazy talented. Uh, yeah, Dodger Blue, exactly. Um, yeah, I love this one. I like that little Griffey we got going there. Put that in the case. I also just love the colors on this one. So, is it nice? I love that one. Oh, is that bow? That's bow. You got a bow? Well, that one's beautiful. Yeah. So, like, so for example, you know, 90% uh, of the cards that I paint, splatter paint on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give away for free. 10% of them, I'm gonna sell for different, different things. Here's a bow bichette that'll, that'll go on the website. I'm gonna sign the back. It's gonna go in a one-touch case. It's gonna have one of these, um, one of these labels on it. If it's and it's gonna go in a good case, it's not gonna go in a shitty case. Uh, yeah, we're gonna sell that. That's the plan. 
That one is nice. I like it. We good? Yeah. I like that canvas. That's a brand new living canvas. This, no. is, this is great. Yeah. Cool. Brand new living canvas, guys. Started today. Last one, we're going to uh, sign a number. Uh, let's see. I'm going to turn off the fan. This is probably creating that room noise. I'm going to sign it off and say goodbye. guys all right well thank you guys so much here come in here and say goodbye to the people get up in it Either way. what's up guys all right um we'll make this big so thank you guys so much Oop. I just looked away what, what was that too oh that's the schmidt card that was the trivia question card did anyone so, make? yeah we have two winners so, uh, okay. cody and alex i think Okay. I'll, I'll scroll back up and, Great. and double check. Great. You guys have good stuff. Yes. Cool. Thank you guys so much. Um, Jason and I appreciate that very much. Uh, Scott, ready for Griffey, Itro, Combo. Uh, is that what's coming tomorrow? Ooh. Uh, nice. Awesome. Really? So don't forget, uh, buy my Mark McGuire. Buy them in droves. Buy a bunch if you want to. Uh, or whatever. I'm, I'm like really happy with every, where I'm at. So... I know Tony knows the PR. He's watching. Tony, I don't want to know. Stop teasing me. Uh, yeah, Mike. Yeah, exactly. Great job, Maps. You crushed it, man. Good job. Thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks so awesome. much, everyone. Yeah, thank you, guys. And uh, do you know what we say when we sign off? I know what you say. That's what we're going to say. Stay awesome. Say it, say, it, say, it, say it like you mean it. Stay awesome, everybody. Okay. Yeah, right. stay awesome. Bam.